Hey, this is Alex from Pop Up in Real Life, and we are actually at a campsite and join the Pop Up Camper right behind me. This campsite is in the Pacific Northwest in a beautiful area. I've got the river right over here that we've gone down to and swam in. And this is actually the first place that I took my friend's Pop Up Camper before I owned one, and it's where I fell in love with the Pop Up Camper. That was the night I've told you about it before where it rained. And uh, I was like, what are we gonna do? And yet the boys had a blast. We were inside the pop-up camper, the one that we borrowed. Not a drop got on us. We had an incredible time. And so we're back here, I think now three years later to enjoy another night. Some friends of ours are camping uh, just down the way, doing some dispersed camping, which is where you're in the forest, national forest, but you can camp for free. Um, we are actually at a campground. And so I'm gonna show you around, maybe give you some ideas of what to do at your campsite and hopefully a little bit of entertainment. We got the family back here and friends doing the fire and we're just having an awesome time. So let me show you around and hope you enjoy it. All right, here is the uh, other video I've got of the, I installed this um, to help with moving around the pop-up camper and it's working great. You can also see on the front, I've got a Reese tongue jack lock. So when we went out for a hike today, um, I had this lock on here so nobody could take the pop-up camper. I've also got my, um, this used to have a battery, but now that's where I actually put um, some useful resources. Let's take a look. Come on in. And so that's where I've got some levels. I've got my lock um, that actually goes uh, right here. So it locks um, that into place. And I've also got my level. This is also where I actually store my key to put the pop-up camper up so when i get here that's the first one of the first things that i get to do and um yeah this thing's been awesome it's been great okay you can see the bungee that i have here and that actually holds the door open uh, you don't want to do it too much if you got mosquitoes but it's nice if you're going in and out a lot all right we've got the welcome mat essential then we've got a bin for the shoes um, we've also got our Coleman stove that actually sits on top of the original 91 stove that came with the trailer. Uh, it doesn't work anymore, but I actually use it kind of as a tabletop because it attaches to the side of the pop-up camper. Works out great. Got all my coffee and stuff for the morning, including some cooking stuff. Got my propane tank that's about a 12-foot, um, maybe it's more like a 6 to 8-foot um, cord that runs to it. I can run it to the pop-up camper, or to the, sorry, to the stove or I can also run it to the fire pit, portable fire pit. All right, we're a little dark in here, but you can see one of my kiddos is sleeping on this side. Um, we've got our table set up here so we can enjoy some reading and things if we want. We've also got our sink. I'm dry camping, and so I've actually got a uh, container down there with water, and so we can still have water even though we don't have hookups at this campsite. Um, got some other stuff around here. Uh, we used to have a stove in here. I took the stove out and you can actually see I just screwed in the tabletop and so it acts as a nice surface uh, for doing work if we need to. Um, and then we've got myself and my other, one of my other kiddos that sleep on this side and we've also got these foam mats that work great. Um, you can put sheets on them if you want. These foam mats also when I go to store them are um, go right across here and they fit perfectly so you can still put the pop-up camper down. You can also see the curtains that we put up a couple years ago. They're still hanging strong and doing well, looking really nice. And again, I garage keep my pop-up camper and so it runs really well. We also throw a light up here um, because I don't have a battery and we're not hooked up. We don't use the lights when we're dry camping, um, but that works out great. I also have this um, Energizer lantern that's just awesome. Long battery life got a couple different modes you can do um, highly recommend this if you're looking for something that's not having to use propane to do a lantern something a little simpler highly recommend that i also have my fridge which i throw ice in there and shut it right away and then it keeps stuff cold for a couple days um, and so it's not hooked up so it's not cooling itself um, but it works out great i think you guys have seen some of my other stuff that's in here but i got different storage I love the pop-up camper because you have stuff that you can just throw in there um, that if you need in a pinch, um, you've got some supplies down there. I also mainly use um, paper products, plastic. Um, so I've got some stuff there. And then this is where I store my the 
stove that doesn't work and the stove that does work. That's for quesadillas if you want to do them over the fire. So nice little treats there. And then of course I've got my toilet paper right in there. I got my drawer. This is what we use to talk about our adventures. So every time we go camping, we uh, can make some notes about it. That's a lot of fun. Keep my keys and everything. And then I have my utility drawer down here, which you've seen before. Got my backup Coleman containers if I need them. And then a lot of random stuff. It's kind of just organized now. I don't use it all every time, um, but I at least have backup batteries and different things uh, in case we need them. I also want to comment on the flooring that we put in a couple years ago, this cheap peel and stick flooring. It's still great. It's not really coming up. You can see a little dampness from um, just walking around in here, but it's really still holding up really well. I will say the laminate that we put on the top of this has not been good. You can see it's coming up all over the place. Over here where there's not as much up and down, um, but the table gets moved so much, stuff goes on top of it. Um, now the, um, the backing that we did for these, if you remember my other video, we just stapled, my mom helped me to make these. Um, this is just a, I think it's a carpenter's, um, like uh, paint drop cloth that we did. And it's actually working pretty well. It's not too dirty. Um, obviously we have young kids and so we're not looking to keep this thing spotless. And again, you've got storage under here, storage under here, storage under there, and storage under there. Um, and we got the holding tank of water over there as well. So just love this thing, man. So much space. You get to stand up in it and really enjoy it. And then we've got the door as well. Just a reminder. Oops, bonk my head. Just a reminder on the door, you can actually take these down. And so this can come down and so you can get some fresh air in there if you'd like. Um, just a really nice, nice part of the pop-up camper. One other feature that I just love is this little lock. And so at nighttime, you can put that little lock on. Obviously someone can still break in, but it's gonna deter somebody from trying to get in your pop-up. I don't have any lock on it for when we go like for a hike or anything. So I take everything um, that would be valuable that if it got stolen would be a bummer and it, could, it would be hard to replace. Um, and then I just leave the pop-up camper. I actually talked to some neighbors who were camping and said, hey, can you check out our campsite while we're gone? Make sure everything's good and they were happy to do that also we prefer the cast iron set this one's cool because it actually can store on top of it so you got both the cast irons um, harder to clean so i clean it when we get home then we've got the handle here little cutting board knife all little bells and whistles and of course we've got our awesome merch we got the store etsy shop so you can buy this if you want but i uh, had this since 2021 um, so pretty fun and again, if you do not have a portable fire pit, buy one. This is Camp Chef. I bought it at Cabela's, which is up here in the Pacific Northwest where I live. And it's just awesome. It's, it's got a bag that comes with it. I've had it now for probably three or four years at least and still works great, puts out fire. We set this up in the morning while we're eating our breakfast. And so highly recommend, I'll zoom in on that, buying a little portable fire pit. This is a smaller one um, that you can enjoy. And of course, you need a beautiful fire. And uh, we do this every night, cook some food, do some s'mores. Oh my, um, my comment my below if you just love fires, because um, they are awesome. And this right here is one of my favorite camping chairs, but usually it doesn't fit. This trip, we didn't bring everyone in the family, so it did fit. Timber Ridge, I think we got it from Costco. Um, but this thing is comfort at its finest. And then the kids like these small, um, Cabela chairs, which are good for them. And then we just got the standard camp chairs as well. Now, now since we are using the sink on this trip, I do have a bucket here, um, right by where the drain comes from the sink. So if I'm brushing my teeth, even though, and using any of that water, it's all gonna drop in here and then I can just dump it before I leave. That way all that toothpaste and stuff's not just going into the ground. It's kind of a courtesy thing when you're camping um, to do. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that little tour as we are dry camping. There's no electric, no hookups. 
And so, but we love getting out here. There's no cell coverage. And so we get to just disconnect, have family time, go on hikes, spend time with friends. We're not looking at our phones and it's just so rejuvenating. So make sure to get out. One recommendation, I was thinking about this because this is the first campsite where we had a pop-up camper, but we actually borrowed it from friends of ours. And so if you're thinking about getting a pop-up camper, rent one on Outdoorsy, uh, borrow one from a friend, just check it out. It might not be for you, maybe it will be for you. Maybe it's just the first thing you guys get started until the kids get older and you upgrade. But I think it'll get you outdoors, enjoying nature, get a decent night's sleep, um, have a place to clean up and stand and change without being in a tent. Our friends who are camping here tonight with us have a tent and they don't mind it at all. And so that might be for you, for us, the pop-up camper is definitely worth it. We do tow this with our Acura MDX. Uh, it has a 5,000 tow capacity. The pop-up's about 2,000. And then we just have the Reese two inch drop. Uh, we've got the four prong set here. We also have the seven prong in case we get an RV down the road, which we, I don't know if we will, um, but this tows it fine. And then we also have the Reese lock on there. So no one can just take our hitch. This was actually the lock set and also the one that's on the front over right there. Um, we actually bought at Lowe's, which is a store in our area and a like, hardware store so that people aren't gonna steal your stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got to learn a couple things or just had a little uh, reminder of how awesome the outdoors are. So make sure to get outdoors. Here's how beautiful it is. This area is awesome. The Pacific Northwest, I've told you so many times. Uh, wherever you're at, get outdoors, enjoy being out in nature. For me, it's being out in God's creation. That's what I love. And just getting to worship him and just love being out here. All right, see you later.